how to set up Jaguar physics for boot and S for breasts and S in the Unreal Engine 5. So what I have done, I have here my skeletons for the female and for the male characters and for them I have created uh, the separate animation blueprints which will be used only for the jiggle physics. So separate for male and separate for female as they have the different body parts which I would like to move, uh, for which I would like to set up those jiggle physics. And what is the most important from the beginning? The first thing that you will need uh, the special bone which will be moved. So for example, in my case, when I was setting up the breast, so uh, the Genesis 9 character, it has the separate bone which is called left pectoral and the right pectoral. This is what I was using for the breast. And in case of the uh, boot, so I was using over here in the thin, we have the left uh, thin twist uh, one for the left and the same is for the right. So in this case, if you will create this for your character, you must be sure that you have the special bones for this. In case of the main character over here, I have also the special bones which I will uh, use for moving. This is the GAN base and the test, but unfortunately for the um, YouTube, I'm not able to show this, so you will have to just listen. Then the next thing which is very important is uh, when we are in the our skeleton um, in the asset details we will have to search for the post process. This post process is used for setting up the special animations like for setting up special animation blueprints for um, special things. In our case we will use this for jiggle. This is not the animation blueprint which is using for the movement but only for those things. So now let's go to the animation blueprint. This is very, very simple. So you'll simply add the input pose. Then you have to add the um, output pose, two of them. And inside you will just search for the spring here, spring controller. You simply search for this. It will be added like this over here. Uh, they must be, of course, connected. And then all of the settings, all the magic is happening over here. So let's move to the female so we can see this better. Let's say it will be for the breast. So first of all, if we'll click on the spring controller, we will have here on the right side into the spring bone, select which bone must be moved. So this is why I was talking about the special bones for this. I'm selecting the left pectoral. Basically, this is already selected. Now, the next thing, uh, if we will take a look, I will spring over here spring controller so if you will take a look on the default spring controller settings so you will find that the spring uh, stiffness is 50 and the spring dumping in is 4 but this is too much because this is moving just really crazy so in my case I have changed the settings for spring stiffness for 500 spring dumping for 5 but even if you don't want to move it so much you can even put that 10 so this is about this but of course you can experiment with your own settings and it depends how you want it to be. The next thing we are going to the filter channel. Now we will set up how we would like to spring. So as you can see uh, in the default settings all of the checkboxes for the translate X, Y and Z are marked but we don't want this because this is moving really crazy when you are starting to run or when you are jumping. So in my case I was using only the Z so I just wanted to uh, translate onto the Z value and nothing more. I don't use the rotation because it will look really <laughs> not very smart, not very nice. So only those settings. Also, I was experimenting a little bit. And if you will scroll down and if you will scroll down to the alpha scale BS clump, and here the default setting is 1. I have changed this to 0 0.5. Um, also play with the settings. Take a look how you want this to be best of all. But for me, for my game, is uh, perfectly working the 0 0.5. So over here we will have to set up the spring controller for each bone which we would like to move. So in my case it was the left pectoral, the right pectoral. And then I was using for the, uh, those uh, thin twist bones uh, for the left and for the right side. I was doing the same settings, basically, if you will scroll up, the settings are the same, the movement is the same, so everything's set up over here. I'll just remove those parts which I have added. Actually, that's it, basically, this is the, this is the setting. And now I will show you what exactly we will see and how exactly it will work. So now we can take a look, I will walk and I will walk just with a few steps like this and as you can see the boot is moving excellent, this is moving, this is jiggling and everything is perfect. Now let's take a look how it will look like uh, 
for the breast for the breast this is also excellent as you can see I'm working it this is perfect but now I will show you one thing as I don't have this separate bones just for the glue just for the S and this is the whole bone for the food so if you will take a look while I'm working for the forward I'm not able to make separate jiggling for the S and for the foods so as you can see this is moving and this is moving all together and this is jiggling too much so I'm working here and I'm working back and this is what I was talking about for the special bones. So in our case I have the um, the settings set up for the five just to uh, return back to the to the original position. You can increase this, increase this number and you can play with those settings to find the best solution for you or create the special bone just for the glue, depending on you. But originally it, at all, if we will take a, a look at the old picture, for me it looks excellent. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like the manual, please give me uh, the like, subscribe to my channel, don't lose other videos which I will create and I really hope to see you the next time. Love all of you. Bye bye.